Hello everyone, this is Panda, giving you a TMZ wagon update. So we had to go to the hardware store to buy some parts, so and some accessories. So one of those accessories is a new cutter to cut the material for the spacers, which I'm about to show you. I brought the super lube because the bearings were stuck in those wheels, so we had to get it out with the super lube. I brought two pins and used the pins uh, casing as spacers, which I'm about to show you in a second and some crazy glue for good reason. So let me start off by saying we are using the original wheels from the first wagon because these are the pure rubber wheels. These work so much better and much better in most terrain. But let's talk about the why they use the pins uh, casing as spacers as you can see it. I used it as spacers is to prevent the bearings from coming out of the wheel's uh, uh, frame because it, it does come out. But also, I used the super glue to glue in this bearing, but before we glued in this bearing, we put in a metal washer. We super glue that several times over the process, let it dry, let it dry, let it dry, and then once we let it dry several times, we put the bearing on top of that and glued the bearing right on top of that so it doesn't come up but we also still use the spacer so this bearing doesn't slide out and if it does slide out the wheel is going to tip it might bend this rod that's holding the wheel in place another reason why we brought the super glue is because we took the end of the pin point and we use it as an extender because this rod here doesn't lock into place with this wheel so now it does on both sides and all the wheels have spaces between them and I think it was a good idea to save money because at the hardware store it was quite expensive for one inch spacers it was really over price. don't know why that is those things should only cost like 50 cents but they wanted two dollars per spacer like no that's okay but anyway uh, so we also did it to the other two wheels over here, as you can see, there's spaces on all four wheels because we want to keep it centered and stable. When you have the wheels moving back and forth, it's going to cause friction and the bearings will come out. That's why we put the spaces in there. But also keep it steady when we are actually in, trans in transportation and transport. So, yeah. But the good idea was that to use the pins casing, which is hard enough. It, it, it's only supporting the bearings from not actually pushing. Uh, maybe later in the future, if I go to another location, like maybe like Boston, go to a hardware store in Boston or somewhere or DC or somewhere else in New York City, get the spacers that can hold more, I guess, more friction. This should do fine for now, but it's not going to draw any weight onto those spacers because the rod that goes all the way across the wheel is holding the weight. So that's more important. So like I told TMZ last night and the uh, message that I'm going to use the old wheels because the old wheels are better. And I told them that these work m better than all terrains. Um, these are more for the sand, but you can still see they are still wet. Look at that. Still wet. It's like a sponge. So these are no good wheels. So this is my mod modification to the new wagon, as we did before to the first wagon where we were in San Francisco, to that blue wagon. That wagon was not a TMZ, but it, I took the idea from that wagon, put it on this wagon, and figured I like these wheels because they have more traction. It's better to roll, and it's going to be smooth. And look at that, super smooth. So with that said everyone, I wanted to update you guys and let you guys know how I fixed the wagon. So now we can have a smooth transition when we go through the Amtrak train and transfer from train to train. Because sometimes I want to have to, you can look at that, it's still spinning. Oh my panda, look at that. Yeah, I took the bearings from those wheels and put them inside there because the ones that were in there and those wheels got rusted over time. So, yeah.
But with that said, everyone, this is Panda giving you guys a TMZ wagon update, and I fixed it. And so, hope you guys enjoyed this. And if you guys want to do this to the TMZ wagons, you can do this technique, but take your time. Don't rush it. With that said, everyone, see ya.